did a brief float there, so hot on it. We're heading out day one at Swordfish Camp. A little windy front coming through. Caught a few pilchers, might swing by the hump here. Let's see what happens. Put a lure out, you guys. I think we got a Wahoo on. Fingers crossed. Big tuna. Shark came up chasing him. It's our first drop we could make our whole day if we catch this fish. Seems like a small sword on there. Mike saw the bite, I didn't see it. I was eating pretzels. Tell him fish stories. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, day one. 17.50. Took my fish from me. <laughs> Little luck, but catch two. We got another bite here, second drift. We'll see what happens. What do you want to do? Slow it down, slow it down. Yeah. Stop it, stop it. Got another one on. This one seems better. He pulled line down deep. He's coming up. Could be the one we want. It is almost four o'clock. So uh, this will be our last trap of the day. Here it comes, nice jump. There he is. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish, you guys. Some tunas to end the day. We lost a big sword there. 200, maybe 250. Came up shaking his head through the hook. But I got two swords. We were happy with that. And now we got a couple big tunas on. Just got some other small and medium tunas. And end in the day here. Windy. Got him out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Had a big tuna on back there, but sharks got them. Lots of sharks out here. Oh, big shark on him. Keep playing, keep playing. There you go. Steady, All right, steady, steady, steady. Oh, got him. Awesome. All good, guys. Beautiful tuna. Big tuna on there. Just got a nice one on the popper here. A 10 pounder right there. Nice. It's just pandemonium chaos. Sailfish on one side, tuners left, right, back, middle. Sharks eating them crazy out here. Properly ice fish box now, guys. How much you say, Nick? You know, everybody says they don't like you. I kind of like you. Hold your weight. up. Look at that. It's getting a mat clean there. A little decket pad there. That's the thing too. You get this tuna blood on there. The sooner you clean it, the better for you. Now we gotta run this way into that head sea. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is not gonna be fun, but. We'll be in there in about an hour or so, hour and a half, maybe, hour and ten minutes. And we did put up the wing there, the curtain, just because it knocks the wind out for everybody. It's blowing 18 to 20 knots. You know, we're going 20. Oh, yeah. 27, 28 yeah. knots. So <laughs> Hold on. If you're talking 47 knots of wind in your face, without that up. So to protect him a little bit and help with the spray, we got it up there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one there. The lunch meat's in the cooler. I'm gonna try to sneak a couple pieces of some salami. We'll see you guys back in there. Here we go. Alrighty, a couple fans showed up. Where are you guys from? South Georgia? South Georgia, man. South Georgia. Yep. We gotta get his kid on video though. You're gonna make a cameo, buddy. You gotta tell him what your name is again. Uh, Rit. He's been watching the video, he stopped by to see us. We got swordfish, we got wahoo, and a bunch of tuna. 
You ever seen tuna before? Uh, yes, sir. You have? You ever seen swordfish before? Uh, no, sir. Okay, at least I got one on you. <laughs> now you see one, though. You touch his bill? Sharp. He hits all them things with. Appreciate you watching the videos. Yeah, I know. Mike's back there, too. Yeah, oh, big up to everyone, big you know? Up. Yeah, man. The roughest, toughest. Roughest, toughest in the house, you know? Yeah, yeah. So come shut up another video, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, big up. Respect. <laughs> Give me a raw bite for YouTube. Well, you eat it raw? Absolutely. All right, there you go. How about the eyeball? <laughs> How about the eyeball? eyeball. <laughs> I will. Detroit style. Detroit's in the house here. He's going to eat the tuna raw. <laughs> Your nice big tunas, some smalls and some mediums. Sharks, you get a couple good ones too, though. Floyd them out just like that. Oh, yeah. The raw tuna. <laughs> For YouTube. For YouTube, he said I'll do it. You got to tell us how it Fantastic. is. Fantastic. Jeffrey, you want a bite? Oh, not that way. You yeah, went back for more. Gang, Clean gang. He's cleaning it up. Cleaning up house here. There you that go. Awesome. Not bad, right? Not at all. Have a little bit of swing would... wasabi. You'd be in real good shape. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. He asked if it was sooner, uh, sushi grade. It's sushi grade. It's sushi grade. All right, back to filleting. Ready? Day two, 11-17, first bite of the day. Seems like a good fish. A little bouncy ride coming out, but uh, weather's actually pretty nice for the time being. It's supposed to go to 20 to 25 miles an hour this afternoon. But we'll see right now, it's only 10 to 15 miles an hour. 16.73 here on the sim ranch, you can see that. Clearing the rod back there. You said the Wahoo was delicious, right? Wahoo was incredible. There you go. Gotta eat it raw. And you said the concert was good? The concert was great. And the microwavable lasagna was pretty good too. Alrighty, we'll keep you updated and see what happens. Alrighty, just come on. That don't look too good, boss. We got got. That's the one don't I made. get got. That's the one I made. Yeah. Is the buoy tight, you think? Five hour energy. Oh yeah. Not an energy commercial. I'm sorry. How's the Pepsi guy? <laughs> there you go. Might have one on the buoy, guys. Who rigged the buoy bait? Is that your bait? Is that the Benita strip? Yes. That's, That's my Benita strip. Let's go. Let's hope it stays on there. Let's hope it holds. Exactly. They don't count when they get away. I guess it'd be the five hour energy rod. These guys want squid. Oh That's God. all they want. Look at the buoy, right? See the yeah, buoy you got that slack? So that means the fish is coming up with it. That's all you get to see. It's got as horizontal. The fish is coming up with the lead. Oh boy. Slackness from the blackness, coming up from the depths. We need this fish. We must land this fish. We make our whole day, our whole weekend. Mike's getting the harpoon ready just in case. There we go. Loosen your, loosen them oh, we got a bleeder. There you go. We have got a bleeder, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's proper. What are, you, what are you doing? You getting a drink? Yeah. We got a fish to pull out. I know, I know. It's a union job. <laughs> it's a union job. There you go. Take your time. When he hits the deck, don't let go. Oh, he's over 100 all day. There you go. Don't let go. I hope you got a big wall in the dance studio. <laughs> Cheerleading. I got you, we're good. There we go. Yeah. Get your 
the box 321 winds picking up it was supposed to be windy and it was nice most of the day a little bit more wind now more white caps we're hooked up on the mahi belly let's see what happens here coming up swimming up sorry about interrupting you i was eating pretzels having a nice conversation mike interrupted us for the bite <laughs> I don't, yeah, I just saw Shine. I don't think he's big. He's right off the rod tip straight down. He looks like a keeper. Yeah, it was deep shot. Oh, oh, One more for dinner. I caught one off yours. All right, number two for the day. We got plenty for the freezer now. Good job, guys. The wind picked up like it was supposed to. Midday, though, was real pretty, much nicer. Two swords, good fish. Last one was crazy racing on the boat. Now we have to run into that to go home. It's going to be bouncy and rough. Oh, yeah. But everybody's ready. Swordfish camp, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's a carpet ride. Day three heading out. It was 63 degrees this morning. In mid April, that's not right. Everyone's freezing cold. It's windy and rough. Some spray. But we got 10 miles to go, so we'll be out there soon. Mike's ready to get him. Oh yeah, we're ready. Everybody's ready. We're ready. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
perfectly. How many baits did we cut this morning? Strips. Oh, at least 30. I think I was 30. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this one over here. That bait is we're, a good bite. We're trying. Look at this little worm over here, too. These are our eggers. We, got the we right brought them with us today. Yeah. Gotta be good for something. Everybody's cold. It's not supposed to be this cold in mid April, but it is. You can't tie a knot, tie a lot, right? Yeah. Watch YouTube. Buoy, the buoy's slack. Oh. We got worms over here. Look at that little worm there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Money. Oh, look at that one there. Oh, yeah. You guys looking good. Buoy just laid over. It's slack, first drop. Uh, fall it over. Fish coming out. See what happens first drop of the day. It's slow, you know, the last six, eight weeks have been all hit and miss than you more hit and miss than usual. You know, every year is different there. What's good this year may not be good next year and vice versa. But there's some fish that showed up because we had a handful of bites yesterday and uh had a few bites there before that. So we'll see what happens today. We'll keep you posted. That's the indicator there, folks. He's swimming it up. Slacker. Still a line angled up. Thanks swimming that weight out like crazy. Go on it. No bites in this morning, but I think we got one on now. I think it's a small one, but you never know. Just ate some lunch. Time to catch one more, hopefully. Well, that wraps it up. Three day swordfish camp. It went pretty smooth. We got six swordfish in the three days. Um, the first day, you know, we had a sailfish as well. We had a wahoo, a few dolphin, a bunch of blackfin tuna. Um, you know, we found a live bait, so we had good action. Great group of guys. Boat's getting washed up right now. We got more videos coming your way. Check it out from Bud Mary. So, if you guys want to do one of those, you know, shoot me an email. I got the website there for those are swordfish camps and uh, great way to learn, get your hands dirty and fish. 
group of people, six guys on the boat this time, and uh, we all had fun. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch or tackle, check out the website, stansfishing.com. And uh, it's time to go home. So we'll see you guys back at the house. We are leaving Bud Mary's now. <laughs>